Welcome everyone to a really great song by uh, Bad Company. Um, I heard it the other day and I'm like, man, I gotta learn that. So here we are. Um, it's in standard tuning. I've downloaded my, or uploaded my notes for you to download. So there's a link below the video to download them. No charge. I just, if, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving for 2021 and um, hope everyone is healthy. We're going to go through this song. I'll talk about some of the things I see them do different live versus uh, what we're doing here. So standard tuning um, and I'll even talk about some of the effects I use in the intro. This song, I believe the original recording is going to start here on this A. I've seen them live do it up at the A and just do the hammer on there. But listening really close to the recording and trying to pull it out of the channel, I really hear higher notes. So I believe we'll be on the ninth fret of the um, fourth, third, we'll be on the ninth fret of the third string, tenth fret of the second string. We're going to hammer in, all right? and then hit it unhammered. Oh, by the way, there is a phase shifter. I had a phase shifter on in the intro that I clicked off when I went into the clean part, but that phase shifter, I just have it, it's basic MXR and there's just one knob and I got it set at 10 o'clock. So that might help you, you know, get the original tone. So with that said, we got our 9 and 10 hammered in back off, if you will, we're going to hit 9 and 10. Then we're just going to move up to the 4th and 3rd string, we'll hammer into the 4th string at 11. So we're at 9, and then un, alright, then we'll just move that whole thing down a step, alright, so we're going to go from 7. Hammer on to nine on that fourth string and then hit the sevens again. Then what you do is move to the tenth fret on the fifth string. And then you're going to hammer in. You're going to bar the seventh fret. Keep that barred. Hammer into the fifth string at the ninth fret. Alright, so we have... The reason we're keeping it barred is because we're going to keep doing another hammer on on that fourth string in just the fourth and third string. And then hit the second on the eighth fret, the seventh fret of the third, and the ninth where we hammered into as the notes that ring through. All right, so let's take it from the top, slow. One, two, three, four. So you're only hitting that fourth and third. And then your finger comes down on that eighth fret, but you're not ringing it, or the second string because you'll pick back through it, all right? So all together, one, two, three, four. So it's just second, third, and fourth string. So that repeats itself. That is the intro, and then we're into the verse. Okay, so we're into the first verse. The first verse has four measures. Three of them will be with a suspended A. The last one will just kind of hold an A while he gets a dirty tone and comes up to D and E. We'll talk about that in a second. That'd be the pre-chorus. But for this, we're basically A, E, G, back to A. I'm calling this a suspended. We're going to add the second string at the third fret and the fourth string at the fourth fret. All right. You can just do your second finger for a true suspended. 
um, but suspended four. But this is really a D over, uh, I'm sorry, F sharp over D. But I didn't write it out that way because it just didn't look good. So you, you understand through the video what I mean by A suspended. Because that's referred to as a spending sometimes, okay? So we got a basic rhythm pattern. Down, 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 up, down, okay? strumming before you go back down and up all right but that strumming don't just do it that way there's a little uh, more emphasis on some of the strums so listen to the song and it's more the third strum is hit a little harder if okay so after that we're going to go to a distorted guitar sound and come up to a D and E power chord. Then we come back to our, our verse. This would be verse 2, okay? It's just like four measures, the last one without the suspended. Um, so that pre-chorus is basically just D to E twice. The third time we just kind of slide down from the E and then come in with the clean guitar. Okay, so you got that part. Now we're that's the pre-chorus one. We're into pre-chorus two, which comes in again with distortion and leads us into the chorus. Alright, so coming out of the second verse, we come in with that distorted pre-chorus, two D and E power chords. Then we go into the chorus. Now leading into the chorus, you'll hear the bass walk down. Okay, he's going to walk from the E to the um, E flat to D. If you want to play it, you can. I, I go both ways. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just, it's how you feel it and how you're playing it. Maybe if you're doing it live, you want to play with the bass player or stay off of his toes, let him have a, a note. <laughs> okay, so anyhow, so we, we're coming into the chorus. So when he starts singing Shooting Star, we're going to be on a D. And then we're going to hit the D again before we go to A. Then we'll hit the A again, back to D. And then E. One more time, D, E. And then the walk down. So the second measure of the chorus, we're going to go back to our A, but after the A, rather come back to D and E, we're going to go to G and D. And then E. One more quick D to E, and then slide back for our clean guitar. to verse 3 okay we know that verse 3 is just like verse 2 we got another pre-chorus we got chorus 2 coming in at this point all right so when we come back in I'm going to turn up my rhythm pick up here with the distorted amp you're going to hear the solo all right so we'll talk about the solo rhythm before we go over any of the solo stuff this first solo, the rhythm is much different from the ending where they're just playing the chorus for four, eight, ten, ten and a half measures before they're fading out. 
and you'll hear leads over that. Measure F sharp minor to E and then B for a full measure. times and then you'll land on the F sharp for full measure before you come up to an E and you're back into the um, chorus. So you see, you come back into the chorus, this would be the third chorus. So really the solo rhythm is, is like a bridge between two choruses. So our third chorus is just like we learned, our G chord back to D, E, and then D, E, and slid down for verse 4, which is again the clean guitar with four measures, a pre-chorus distorted, and then the there's a second solo during that fourth pre-chorus, and I've written that out. And then we're into the chorus four, which takes us out of the song. And like I said, it's ten and a half measures, and it starts fading out after that. So the chorus really takes us out of the song. There is an outro solo that starts after the third measure of the fourth chorus. I've got that noted. I've got the solo figured out. So you can follow that. I'm going to take you through the first two solos and the outro solo. We'll go over some bits and pieces of it, but really it's more of a fun thing to jam through. Watching them live, they don't really, they don't even play the first solo exactly the same. So with that said, we'll get um, to the first solo next. So this first solo, actually, yeah, the first solo is going to be basically an F sharp minor pentatonic. Real cool licks in here. Um, I'll play it for you, and then we'll go through it measure by measure. One, two, three, four. the lead it has a little bit of string skipping to give it that really different feel. Um, we're going to start out, we'll be at the 14th position, we're going to start out on the 17th fret second string with four bends, the fourth one will be released back to 14. skip the third string we're going to hit the fourth string at 16 back to the third string at 14 back to the fourth string at 16 then just lay your finger down hit 16 to 14 on the third string then 16 on the fourth string and then 14 on the fifth string to 16 on the fourth string Let's go through that all together. One, two, three, four. At that point, we're going to take off from the 14th fret of the 5th string, hammer on to 16. We'll hit 14 on the 4th string and kind of reference the 16th note, but he, he kind of misses it or doesn't really hit it. So we'll have this. And then you're going to catch 14 on the third string to 16 on the fourth. And then 16 on the third string for three bends and then a release. Okay, so let's take that whole measure at a medium tempo 
This is the first measure of the song. One, two, three, four. the second measure which kind of continues this theme here we're going to go 14 to 16 on the third string hitting 16 on the fourth string back to 14 16 14 on the third and end up on 16 on the fourth slid down all right so we have this i'm going to hit the three bends before it one two three four So then we're going to slide into the 15th fret of the 3rd string real quick, catch 14 on the 2nd before we go into 17 on the 1st string. Bet 3 times and then we'll hit it again and release. <laughs> So let's go through that measure again. I'm going to start with the 16 bends from the previous measure. One, two, three, four. At that point, we're to the third measure of the solo, and this is pretty much the ending. What we're going to do is hit 14 unbent on that first string to 17 on the second string bent. Then we'll hit 14, which will again hit it again and hammer on to 17 and pull back off to 14. Alright, then we're going to catch 17 on the second string again, bent, and then hit 14 three times. The third time will be a slide down. So from the hammer on and pull off, alright, at that point we're going to come back to the 17th fret, hit it unbent, and then one more time bending up and striking 14. We'll strike 14 three times with the 17 bend. Point, we're going to hit 14 again and slide to 12. Then we'll hit 12 and then 15 on the second string, bent back to 12. 12 again, slid off. And then there's an odd, I, I think it's a pre bend on the 12th fret of the third string and a release. It's really kind of, they're, they're coming out of the solo and, and into it, but I hear something there and that's what, I, that's what I picked out. So, let's go through that third measure. One, two, three, four. So that is the solo. Um, again, I've written it out. There is a second solo, very similar to the end of this one because we're staying to our D's and E's. It's just going to be in the E pentatonic scale here now. Alright, so it'll sound like this. So basically the second solo, not a whole lot to it, it's just a lot of feel if you listen to it. We're hitting 15 bent on the second string, then 12 on the first string, and then 15 again bent with some vibrato. Then we're going to hit a pre-bend of 14 with a release, and then hit 12 back to 14 on the 4th string, to 14 on the 3rd, and 12 with a bend and some vibrato. Alright, so all together slowly, 1, 2, 3, 4.
that takes us to the outro solo. The outro solo, like I said, I did figure this out. <laughs> back into A, he stays true with the F sharp or A minor. Um, scale. So, really, that is the whole song. Um, the outro, like I said, is the chorus. And a lot of fun to jam, especially at the end. I really, you know, they're playing along and it's fun to just catch those notes and, and um, play along. So I hope that helps everybody. Enjoy.